I actually think that the breadth of skill that you get with a liberal arts background makes you hyper qualified in this dynamic workforce today. The skills and uh, the tools in the liberal arts education actually give you a competitive advantage in that space because you're so well equipped to deal with such a different range of issues. How do I define the liberal arts? I think about liberal arts as a lot of fun because you get to learn about so many different parts of humanity. When people ask me about a liberal arts degree and how that sets them up for success in their career, I tell them that I think that having the foundation of understanding of how history, English, math, science, those are fundamental pieces of knowledge that you will never get in the working world. In the working world, you're gonna be offered opportunities to go to training classes about a certain domain, whether it's in biotech, or technology, and those companies will train you in their science. They're not gonna train you in how to solve problems and interact with people and how to develop your own interpersonal confidence. And those are things that are really important that a liberal arts education is able to give you. I think liberal arts is really about, for me, educating the whole person. Really, all aspects of uh, business require some level of challenging, debate, questioning, understanding, digging a little bit for facts, and certainly finance has that in spades. And I just remember a couple weeks ago, I was in a discussion with someone, and I was bringing this person through how I would think about this um, particular problem and the types of things that I think this person, he needed to think about as he went through his decision-making process. And as I got to the end of it, I realized I was using the Socratic method. I, I didn't mean to use, I didn't start, hey, I'm gonna use the Socratic method here, but I realized that I was putting together a series of steps um, that you, know, you would have recognized as the Socratic method. And I just think that being able to understand how to reason and how to think um, you know, dispassionately and, and I think wisely as you're thinking through problems is a big skill set to have. As it relates to the core curriculum, when I was a student here, I'm not sure I realized exactly how studies in English and philosophy or the arts or religion were actually going to help build my toolbox. I don't think I knew that when I was a freshman. I think I started to understand those principles by the time I left school, but it wasn't until I actually left Gonzaga where it actually afforded me the opportunity to say, hey, what did I actually learn at GU? And how actually, how do I apply that today to my professional world? The liberal arts education gives you transferable skills so that in your early career, as you're thinking about your um, next step in your next career, you may actually think, wow, I've never even knew that this was a job out there. I would love to try and explore that. And if you had specialized early in college, you may not have the opportunity to do that. People may not look at you as a candidate for that because they think that you're too specialized. So knowing that you have a liberal arts degree, people recognize that you've been exposed to different parts of the world and that you have an ability to think critically and solve problems. And so they're more willing to give you an, an opportunity that's outside of what maybe you've been doing for the past two years. We just recently hired a uh, history major from Gonzaga in a fairly technical, uh, planning role and a demand planning role and at first uh, I don't think he or or even I said hey does he have the skills capable of doing that actually his skills were all about connecting with people he's two years into his career at Nike now and doing an amazing job. Even if you look at the Starbucks leadership team, there are a lot of English majors and there are um, a lot of um, you know, philosophy backgrounds and people that are good communicators and good writers of arguments, put together cases that uh, build towards decision making. And it's not a bunch of technical folks at the top of the company at Starbucks. It's a broad, diverse group of people from different backgrounds, different parts of the world, uh, different types of skill sets, and certainly different educational backgrounds, and that's what makes us far better.